Hi, my name is Terry and uh, we're looking at uh, Real Flight RC Flight Simulator. This is part two. Uh, in this part, I'm going to show you how to create your own airfield. So, what I've done is I've selected my airport, which is the uh, Real, Flight Ra Real Flight Ranch. Uh, loaded that one up. Now, I'm going to Simulation and go down to Create New Airport. Uh, this will bring up the edit the airport editor and uh, I'm just gonna zoom in here this is uh, your oh well, this is basically you when you're flying uh, if we click on objects and what we want to do is we're going to open the uh, real flight g4.5 and click on control objects uh, what we want to do is now is add a heli so we're going to add that click the mouse down, move it away from our pilot and then we're going to add our uh, plane so click on the plane spawn again move it away from the pilot Right, so now we go back up. Uh, but we'll stay in this. Set. Sorry, we'll shut that, but stay in this section. And what we want to go now is uh, we want some runways. So we click on runways. And uh, love an asphalt runway. We'll just zoom, zoom out from that. As you can see, we've got our runway. Now, if we click on our uh, our pilot spawn, so we want him spawn in there. Uh, our plane, we're going to have our plane spawn in there on the runway, and our helicopter. Click on that. We're going to have that spawning just in front of the pilot. Okay. Now we want to add some um oh we'll add some trees. So you can pick which type of tree you want to add. Let's click add. Move that to place that where you want to place it. And now we'll add a uh I think we'll add a building or Select those runways. Try not to scroll through it too quick. Buildings. Click on that to open it up. And uh, yeah, we'll have a barn. So select the barn. Place the barn where you want the barn to be. And keep on doing that until you've got a, an airport that you like. And then you uh, go to file, save as I'm going to call this uh, temp for now click OK so that's, uh, that's your airport done and now exit to simulator and it will load up your airport and there you have your uh, your plane. Now, if you were going to uh, spawn a helicopter, right, we'll go to here and we'll uh, pick helicopters only. We'll spawn that one, and that spawns off the runway where you uh, you you set it up. So that's how to do a 3D field. Okay, now we're going to do a uh, photo field. Now, my first attempt to do this um, didn't work out very well, but what I did was I took all these pictures, uh, taking them from looking at the floor to looking at the sky. 
got an auto uh, stitch program uh, stitched them all together so it came out with this which okay seems good so far except for that little black piece there and uh, then I went to uh, real flight and I imported it I went to import and I imported a raw panoramic image uh, which is I've got here on my desktop and then it converts it which can take a little while so I'm good, just going to pause this while it's converting as you can see it didn't quite work out how I uh, wanted it to which has a lot to do with the different lens settings which you'd have to read up more on but uh, that's the basic way of doing it uh, I will hopefully do a video soon uh, and do a proper um, panoramic picture and uh, telling you how to do it once I know how to do it correctly of course some of you out there will be able to do that no problem uh, for now we're going to go to a uh, an old one that I've got which is here now on this I've used the uh, I've used the editing program uh, to put in like crash objects which like, are these uh, trees here you can see uh, I'll just explain this to you these objects you put in they're quite easy to put in Oops. we go to here and uh, we go to depth buffers and say um, this section here which on the photo is and about there zoom in is that building you can see just there right and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the setting here now you can actually see the building and the objects so uh, what this what this does is uh, it renders it to the buffers only so you basically get an invisible object on <coughs> on the field that you've created and um, when you're when you're um, moving the objects around like uh, if we turn back turn back off the uh, forced buffers we can actually move the object now so you can see in the photo you know roughly where it should be and take your time and get it all in position uh, once it's in position change the uh, the force into the to force it to render to buffers and uh, what you get is you get your picture with uh, the crash objects there of course invisible so as you just see the picture behind it now all this grey bit here what I done was I I uh, put all these pieces down I've forced them to buffers but um, I've made them so they're not objects you can crash into and the reason for this is if we go back to the simulator becomes apparent when I drive into the uh, thicker grass so I'll take our plane over to the thicker grass and there you go it disappears in the in the longer grass and of course I put ob other objects in there so is it uh, it makes it like you would in real life you as soon as you hit the long grass you crash 
Okay, that's uh, it for now, and um, I'll do more in part three.